One of the most difficult things there is, is to be declared a saint by the Catholic Church. During this is to be declared a saint by the Catholic Church. During this entire century, the strict requirements for sainthood have been met only 11 times. One of the key requirements in the selection of saints is that miracles must be proven to have occurred in their name. On May 31st, 1992, the official announcement was made which acknowledged that a miracle had indeed occurred. And it happened not in some distant foreign land, the confirmed miracle took place right here in America. On that day in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, Pope John Paul II spoke the Latin words, we declare blessed Claude to be among the saints. With these words, a French Jesuit priest joined a select few. He was recognized by the Roman Catholic Church in the rites known as canonization. Claude Le Colombert had achieved sainthood. Blessed Claude's route to that exalted position began more than two years earlier, right here in the United States at Santa Teresita Hospital in Southern California. The miracle that was responsible for raising Blessed Claude to sainthood happened to this man, Jesuit Father John Houle. At the uh, end of February 1990, I was in the uh, Santa Teresita Hospital dying terminal pulmonary fibrosis. Everyone around Father Hool knew the end was imminent. By Friday the 23rd, he, uh, he looked quite ill. He was on 100% oxygen. His, his blood oxygen level uh, was quite low. Uh, he was rapidly deteriorating and... Uh, I was being prepared for death by receiving the last rites of the Catholic Church. When I saw him over the weekend, um, I half expected each day when I came in to uh, learn that he had passed away. Uh, but uh, there was a rather dramatic uh, change in his condition. He improved uh, daily to the point by Monday morning uh, he was fully conscious. Uh, he was sitting at the side of the bed. Father Huell basically had a very serious lung problem. Uh, I consider it to be uh, fatal and uh, for reasons that I personally do not understand, he made a rather dramatic uh, and complete recovery from this particular problem. So what happened between Friday and Monday that made Father Hool's terminal respiratory illness miraculously recede? Father Hool and others around him say it began with the prayers of this man, friend and fellow Jesuit, Father Francis Parrish. I could have prayed to many saints in heaven, but there was one particular saint that I thought could do what no other one would possibly do for him, and that was to cure him. I had a devotion in a special way to blessed Claude La Colombière. I had a first-class relic of him, a piece of, of his bone, and I took it to the hospital, found Father Hool dying. You can imagine then, when I came back to the hospital some days later to see Father Hool, I found him sitting up in bed, eating an apple. I was surprised, but after all, I did have confidence that through the intercession of blessed Claude La Colombière, Father Hu would be healed, and he was. Church headquarters in Rome found the case to be most convincing. French Jesuit priest Claude Le Colombert became just the 11th person in more than 90 years to be named a saint. And Father Hu's reaction to being part of this historic development? I understand that Almighty God has given me this time to continue my ministry as a Catholic priest. So I'm very grateful to Almighty God and uh, will do my very best to make these years fruitful for his honor and glory.